hell of a thing. And I'm glad I have uh, Mayor Mondale Robinson on the show to help break this down. So uh, Mayor Tiffany uh, Henyard, we've actually talked about this mayor on the program before. Roland Martin had on the show. I watched the whole interview. Here's part of it. It is amazing. Here it is. Give a charity that um, uh, from the Attorney General's office. Is, uh, I understand they sent a cease and desist letter to your foundation. I don't know nothing about that. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm not. You have a, a Tiffany Henry cares your foundation. I, so the Attorney General's office hasn't reached out to you regarding your found your foundation. So I want to set the record straight. I don't have a foundation. I am a supporter of anybody that's struggling with cancer. My mom had breast cancer, and I'm always push anybody that has that. If someone uses my name to push their charity, or if you say this is Tiffany T-shirt, people gonna buy. Because right now, consider what clickbait. People make money off of my name by views. So you just so take my you name. don't have a you say you say you don't have a foundation. I don't. I do not. And that's okay. why I tell everybody go do your research. I'm not on anything. Well. Research was done. Let's put up the picture full of mass. This is a hell of a story. Per the New York Post, self described super mayor Tiffany Hinyard of Dalton, Illinois, is facing renewed calls for resignation amid a state investigation into claims she tried to silence a subordinate who accused a trustee of sexual assault. This, of course, follows prior accusations we've covered of the mayor spending tax dollars on lavish trips and other miscellaneous expenses. And also, in Roland Martin's show the day after she said this, Roland Martin was able to play video of the mayor saying during an official council meeting, donate to my nonprofit and provided the name of the nonprofit which is named after her. Also, footage of her walking with the t-shirt that says the name of the nonprofit at an event named after the nonprofit, which once again is her name. Trump got y'all heads messed up out here. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this, program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. The mayor made her first appearance at a Thornton Township meeting last week and the allegations per WGN TV, the State Department of Human Rights launched a probe into a pair of complaints filed against the mayor's office in which a former assistant claims she was in fact assaulted, sexual assaulted by a trustee while on a taxpayer funded trip to Las Vegas. Now keep that picture up. If you recall in some of my initial reporting of this, I could not understand why the trustees had not already moved toward an exacting investigation here. And it looks like, now this is speculation at this point, but it looks like the mayor may have had something on a trustee or two. Perhaps the victim claims she started to feel disoriented and extremely lightheaded after having dinner with the unidentified trustee on the Vegas trip, according to WGN TV, which obtained a copy of the complaint. She allegedly woke up the next morning in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there and was experiencing a physical discomfort. A separate complaint filed by Officer Byron Miles part of Henyard's $1 million security detail, claims that the trustee called and FaceTimed him and the night of the alleged assault and boasted about betting the woman. Quote, there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent, the complaint says, according to WGN TV. It says Miles requested the trustee switch to a video call so that he could see the situation for himself in his capacity as a law enforcement officer who had just been informed of a possible crime. The trustee then panned the camera toward a bed where he could see a woman who was partially undressed, according to the complaint. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on the screen 
at times moving or removing articles of clothing, end quote. When the woman and Miles spoke to Henyard about the alleged incident, their return from the trip, upon their return from the trip, she initially appeared shocked. Oh my God, can't believe this happened on the trip. She said that if the information were to be made public, the assistant would be ruined. And all the work she had done for the village would be lost, according to NBC Chicago. The former employee claims the mayor then told her she would, quote, take care of it and to trust her. But just a few days later, the former employee said she was placed on unpaid medical leave without her consent. When she tried to ask officials about when she could return to work, they refused to answer her questions, WGNTV reports. But the unidentified trustee who was on the Vegas trip blasted the accusations as a quote, total and complete fabrication in comments to WGNTV. He insisted he was only trying to help his female colleague who he believed was intoxicated and on drugs. Quote, this is what you get for trying to help people, end quote, he claimed. Now, village officials said, also said in a statement that they conducted an investigation into the claims led by an independent third party company. They said Miles was interviewed as part of the probe and denied knowing anything about the allegations and alleged the victim refused to cooperate, they told NBC Chicago. Quote, this is nothing more than two disgruntled employees trying to make off with the taxpayer's hard earned dollars, end quote, the statement said. Meanwhile, according to Fox 32, the FBI is also investigating Kenyard's alleged misuse of taxpayer dollars and resources, including out of town trips. Illinois largest township, which covers all or part of 17 South suburbs, wants to provide new mental health services and facilities and is asking voters to approve a new tax to pay for it. Quote, Mental illness is real. I don't care what you say. Mental illness is real, but you have to be willing to do something about it. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hanyard said, "Me, Tiffany Hanyard, I support the tax. The Thornton Township mental health tax would add an extra forty-two dollars per year on a one hundred thousand dollars home, with the hope to raise two point nine million in all." So I give you a reaction now. Quote: When we vote down your taxes, I hope every one of the residents vote down these trustees who supported you. South Holland resident Curtis Watt said, 11 of 17 mayors who represent suburbs in the township, along with the two Cook County commissioners and a state senator penned a letter urging a no vote against the tax. They called it needless, a needless and inefficient duplication of services. But also add township supervisor Tiffany Henyer essentially can't be trusted with the money. I mean, politicians voting for you not to give them more money is a rarity. Um, but it's because of the leadership that is involved. And once again, the duplication of services are fixed. And I will say this about the handling of it. Think about what you just heard. Okay, you have a back and forth. You have an allegation made that's serious. If the allegation would have been handled properly, this likely is not a news story if it's handled properly. But because of how it's handled and the seemingly level, the seeming levels of cover up, then naturally, well, it looks like there's smoke, which means possibly fire. Now, Mr. Mayor, um, you are in a unique position, sir. And you already understand protocols and city government. That whole description of what happened just seems so insane. And it's, and it's one of those, well, damn, the actions afterwards indicate that there's something else to this. What say you? I absolutely listen. Whenever people blow people off without any type of investigation or sharing investigations, uh, you should be worried. We should all be worried about that. The 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 the, the, the non like sensical nature of all of this story is scary to me. Anything associated with this woman must be questioned seven times by seven different people. The face in which she could she to to, to say that your mother had cancer and then behave in the manner that you behave in and pretend that people. Are, it's clickbait to use your name to sell shirts. Who are you? Who are you? She's a grift. 
And 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 this is this is the reason why people are so frustrated, not just with politics, but politicians, because to the abuse is rampant, it seems like. So it seems in this town. And 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 it shouldn't be at the level where the FBI is investigating. Somebody else dropped the ball before it got to that level. Just yeah. know though, the FBI usually don't drop the ball when it comes to investigating. So stand by for more on this story. Yeah, a whole lot more. And a lot of it is generated directly from her.